Madagascar Biodiversity and Evolution. I'm Dr. Vuara Randrianasulu, and I'm from Madagascar. Twice the size of Arizona, Madagascar, the eighth continent, has an amazing biodiversity and diverse ecosystem. Charles Darwin, visit to the Galapagos, has been celebrated for the evolutionary theory. But I have to wonder, what would have happened if the Beagle shipped to the Galapagos and visited Madagascar instead? What would Darwin have made of the animals which had been evolving in splendid isolation on this island? Would Darwin's theory, rather than Darwin's finches, be among the most recognizable icons of evolution? Let's see how those wonderful animals and plants has evolved and adapt to this fascinating fourth largest island in the world. More than 600 species of plants and animals have been described in Madagascar over the past decade. They occur across varied ecosystems. Rainforest, coral reefs, and unique spiny desert. The Masuala Peninsula is one of Madagascar's great places. Pushing out like a nose from Madagascar's northeast coast, the peninsula harbors one of the few remaining large areas of lowland rainforest. It is the habitat for many endemic birds species, extremely rare, such as the serpent eagle, the red owl, the scaly and short-legged ground rollers, the helmet vanga. Here, diverse and beautiful forests meet the white sand beaches. Bays are harboring, such as the humpback whales and dolphin pictures. And sea turtles. Madagascar have more than 300 species of frogs. 99% are found nowhere else. Mantella are among the most popular of Malaga's frogs in the paid trade. These strikingly beautiful frogs fill a similar ecological niche to the poison dart frogs of South America. They use bright colors to advertise their toxic skin secretions to predators. This tomato frog releases a sticky glue-like secretion that protects it against predators such as snakes and birds. Almost half of the world's chameleon species live on the island. Parsons chameleon is not only the world's largest, but the world's most unique. Known for their ability to change color, chameleons can communicate with each other, expressing their attitudes such as their willingness to mate. Their skin changes as a response to temperature, light, and mood. They have many other features that distinguish them from their cousin lizard. They have pincer-like feet, ideal for tree climbing. Also, distinctive are the independently movable eyes. They can survey the world around them with nearly 360 degree vision. Chameleons have also have an extremely extensible tongue. It is used to snap up insects as food and can be up to twice the length of its body. The smallest and newest species, Brookesia micra, is found only on the small island of Nusihara. Measuring from nose to tail less than 1.5 inches, it represents a remarkable example of island dwarfism. 26 species have been catalogued in all of the northern region of Madagascar during the last decade. The distinctive biodiversity is a result of Madagascar's geographic isolation. Geologists believe that 115 million years ago, Madagascar was connected to Africa. The island began to drift away from the continent sometime during the next 15 million years. The animal and plant life of this great island is largely the result of evolution for 
many millions of years ago as proven by the fossils and subfossil records. Recent discoveries from several expeditions on land and in flooded caves confirm this theory. Bones of dinosaurs, early birds and mammals showed that these animals had not evolved when Madagascar first split from continental Africa. The subsequent adaptive radiation of these groups of animals makes Madagascar so special. When humans first arrived on Madagascar, there were at least 50 lemur species living on the island, the largest of which rivaled the body mass of a male gorilla. Megalodapis was an orangutan-sized lemur with teeth very like those of a living sportive lemur. Megalodapis had enormous pincer-like grasping devices like chameleons mentioned earlier. Its four limbs were long and robust. Paleontologists believe that it climbed trees like koalas and subsisted almost entirely on a diet of leaves. The largest of the sloth lemurs was the gorilla-sized Archaeoindris, which probably spent a large amount of time on the ground. The most specialized was Paleopropithecus, a chimpanzee-like lemur that moves like arboreal sloths. Madagascar's seclusion from overland masses is one reason why the island is considered a laboratory of evolution. There were gigantic flightless birds, the Ipernis. The eggs of the elephant birds could hold the fluid contents of about 180 chicken eggs. There are fragments of these flightless birds' egg shells in undisturbed dunes in the extreme southern tip of Madagascar. Such an ancient adaptive radiation means that the lemurs of Madagascar, both extinct and living, are quite different from one another. By taking a glimpse at a few living lemur species today, one would find a range of adaptations in the different ecosystems. The golden bamboo lemur has a unique tolerance to high dose of cyanide in their bamboo shoot diet. The dancing ferox sifak has a body highly adapted to an arboreal existence, but on the ground, its only means a locomotion is hopping. The diadem sifak, one of the most colorful and attractive of our lemurs, having a long and silky coat. The cockerel tsibag has black face with a white patch across the muzzle. It has mostly white body with maroon patches on the chest, front of thighs, and forelimbs. The Dekenisifak can jump between 300 foot tall sharp pillars of eroded limestone in the massif of Ankarana. The short tail are quite vocal, communicating with each other by singing, roaring, and over vocalizations. The terrestrial ring-tail lemurs is the most recognized lemur due to its long black and white ring tail. We stop here for the moment. Thank you.